What is up, Motorfest Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. I'm here today with the Ford Focus RS. In street tier one, we've got it dialed in and tamed out. This is one of the faster cars in street tier one, and I'm super happy to bring it to you. My man, Secure Commander, got on this one with me. We think we haven't figured out. He made some changes. I told him what I liked and what I didn't like. We made some more changes. We've gone to the test track and I think we've got it dialed in for you guys. So let me bring it to you. Let me show you what we've got. And uh, let's just uh, let's just have some fun with this one today because it's, it's pretty spicy. All right, well, the screen goes black because OBS absolutely hates me. We'll dig into the styling portion first. There's a lot you can do with this car, you guys. So for visual parts, there's like six different hoods. Um, you know, carbon fiber pin. I like this one because it shows the intake kind of sitting right on top there, which is pretty dope. And then multiple different front bumpers. Fenders, make sure you throw a wide body kit on there, you guys. That's definitely an improvement. We've uh, done some testing now. We can discernibly say that wide body kits and the tires bringing the rims out make a difference. You can feel the stability in the cars, and so that's the way to go. And then everything else is just whatever you want to do here. But you can really change the focus, make it look sweet, and I think it looks great. For the vanity tires, what I'm currently using right now is if you had the Crew 2, you're going to have a whole slew of uncommon uh, cosmetics. The stretched asphalt white line and then the smooth stretched asphalt are both some of the best ones you can get. So if you don't have some of the other newer vanity options, these are just as good. We did some measurements with a plethora of different cars like literally go in here and line up the pixel count to find out exactly where it starts from because when you change tires the camera moves around a little bit you can kind of look where the mirror's at how it's bouncing all over the screen uh so we were really digging into it to find out which tires bring those rims out the most and the stretched asphalt white line or the smooth stretched asphalt do a really good job of that so keep that in mind you guys and then for the livery shout out to my man omg surfy got us hooked up with the corn nut crew he also did one for militia gaming i want to see more corn nut crew liveries than militia gaming's got out there you guys so make sure you tag on the right one and represent the guy you're getting the tunes from i appreciate you and then shout out to surfy for doing that for us it's super cool all right let's dig into the pro settings final drive you're going to keep it all the way along that way you've got the biggest top speed in the grand race power distribution we're fading that 45 percent to the front that is going to help keep the car a little more stable and gives it more of that real all-wheel drive as opposed to being faded to the rear it just made the car a little rowdy grip 100 percent front 100 percent rear brake balance you're going to fade that to the back you're going to go 57 percent front so it's not 60 it's 57 back it up just a little bit brake power 100 aero load front 100 percent and you're going to take minus 12 percent in the rear you're going to reset or unload that rear end with the downforce and it just helps it rotate just a skosh so you can make it a little more rowdy Springs, you're gonna go 100% stiff in the front and the rear, so that is 10% plus front and rear. For the compression, you're gonna go minus 11% in the front and minus 13% in the rear for your damper compression. For the rebound, you're gonna go plus 14% front and plus 11% in the rear. For the ARB, you're going 100% or all the way to the right, 10% stiff, front and rear. And then your alignment, we are full Beyonce to the left, to the left, 25% both front and rear for that camber. That sets the car up in a way that it's predictable on turn in, it brakes in a straight line, you can accelerate out of your corners without drifting. If you are braking and turning, the car will slide, so be aware of that, but that's just kind of one of the characteristics of the Focus, but it does very, very well in the dirt. You can cut some lines and really get the most out of it. That is the setup for the Ford, for, yeah, the Ford, the Ford Focus RS 2016. There's two Focus RSs. Make sure you buy the 2016 model. That is very important. Overall, the car is very good. You'll see me running on the test track in the configuration that you have before us. I also have some gameplay footage from right before we made a few tweaks. And so it's a little more sliding in the grand race than it is now. Um, I probably would have done a little better. Don't get me wrong, I won the grand race, but um, it's a little more sliding in that. I just kind of want to put an asterisk on that because I did make a couple changes after I got that gameplay footage. But overall, the car is stable. I think you guys are going to like it. It's a little rowdy, but it is one of the better street tier one cars right now. So I definitely want to get it to you as soon as I could. 
All right, guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Literally click the button like right now. And if you're already subscribed, click that like button so other people see it. I'm a small content creator, but I'm trying to blow up and I want to help everybody that I can get good tunes, get better at the game, and just have a good group to come to to come and hang out. So I appreciate you guys for that. That's me. This is the Ford Focus RS 2016. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for that gameplay footage. See you next time. Bye bye. Here we are on the test bed, creating the legends of the track I used for that. Got the Ford Focus RS. Um, the event settings are custom. I've got the difficulty all the way up. The big thing I want to bring attention to is I have Nitro turned off. That is so it allows me to collect data that has a little bit less option or opportunity for human error. Uh, when we're trying to be scientific about how fast the car does, when I have Nitro, if I make a mistake or use Nitro in the wrong spot every lap, it, it becomes less consistent. So this is more for consistency than anything. And then gearbox, sequential, traction control, comfort, ABS on, everything else off. This car is pretty sturdy. It's a little slidey. You're, it's going to be a little more slidey in the gameplay footage than it is now. A uh, secure commander and I got together on this one. I told him what I was experiencing with it. And he made a couple of tweaks. And I really am happy with the outcome once we got there. And so, uh, that guy is a legend. He races GT cars IRL. Uh, finds himself in a Porsche GT car and has a couple other cars that he's privy to drive. And um, so he's a really quite an asset when it comes to tuning for the game. Because when I tell him, hey, here's what it's doing. He knows exactly where to go and make some tweaks and uh, kind of lean things out a little bit. I've got my smoke turned on so that way it's really bright and orange there. The reason I have that is so when the car starts to break loose, I feel that with the controller, but you guys might not see that. And so I want you to see that when the car is sliding. So I've exaggerated that with that smoke. Uh, this car is a little rowdy. It's a little loose. But knowing that and being able to adjust for it, in a straight line braking, no problem. Off throttle turning, no problem. Braking and turning causes it to get a little loose. And so uh, you'll see me kind of playing around that a little bit. And I will say that the curbs, they upset the focus. The focus is not a fan of the curb action. So like right through here, it, it it's a little spicy. Um, I took that line pretty smooth through there, but I've had this car get very, very upset. This will probably happen here. The moment it starts to bump, uh, just with the way the suspension is set up, it uh, it wants to kind of try to kill you. So be aware of that going in, you guys. But overall, this is the best balance that we could find for the Focus that was consistent and predictable. Uh, there's a way to make, the, I would say, the car a little more twitchy and a little faster, but it slides a lot more. So you have to be able to counter that. And I think for the grand majority of players, especially ones that are coming to the channel looking for tunes, looking for help, uh, just looking to get the car dialed in already. This is going to be better for 99% of you guys. There's very few drivers, I would say, that are coming here looking for a really rowdy tune so they can go super fast. Um, this is, like I say, our consistency is the key, guys. If you know what the car is going to do, you know how it's going to respond to your inputs, and then you can put the car where you want it, that's going to allow you to be faster than a car that is maybe the one top 0.1% of drivers can drive who cares if it's really fast if you can't control it and put it where you want you're not fast in it so that's kind of the the difference here and I really think it's quite good so big thank you to secure commander to help me tune this one out overall the focus is really good like I say you want to break before you turn and not with the turn otherwise it will get a little rowdy that is going to be a 242 3 that's pretty fast, really shows what the car can do. It's street tier one, you guys, so that's the slowest laps I've put on film for you guys. But that's pretty good for this car. Let me show you what I got for the Grand Race. Do put a pin in that one. It is a little rowdier in the Grand Race because we made a couple of changes after that footage to bring you this, and I'm very happy with what it is now. All right, we're out here in our Grand Race, in our focus. Oh, we started at the front. Let's go, dudes. Let's see how well we can uh, hold it down here. It would be cool. I've never had a Grand Race where I started at the start and was just able to just shred the whole time and never get past. I don't know if this will be one either, but we're going to try really hard. I will say this focus is great. The only thing that's rough about it is it does not like dipping two tires in the dirt. 
it gets upset. It doesn't like getting dirty. It's great on the actual pavement. It does slide a little bit, kind of like what we're doing there, so you got to be aware of that. But it, it's fast. It's a rowdy beast, but as you can see, we are pulling away from our opponents. At this point, we used to call them pub lobbies back in the Need for Speed Unbound days. Uh, it's just a pub lobby kind of thing. I don't have any of my guys in here to race with to get crazy, but because it's all-wheel drive, it just eats up that dirt really well, allows us to take good degen lines. I really like the Focus. And it's got a sick Corn Nut Crew livery on it, so let's do that. I will be bringing you guys the FC RX-7 as well. I'll probably do a video on that maybe tomorrow just to give you guys two street tier one options right out of the gate. So that way we can back to back um, street tier ones. Because the FC does a lot better in the, uh, the dirt. Hanging two tires and such. And so I would, uh, I might even try to see if I can get both those out today for you guys. We'll see how it goes, but the idea is if I can give you two separate options to choose from, then it's up to you to pick. And the Street Tier 1 cars aren't like grotesquely expensive like some of the other cars in the game, so you guys can choose what you would like. The Focus is a great car overall. It's fast. A lot of people are going to have it. Um, it looks good. There's a lot you can do with it visually, and it's pretty predictable. It's a little rowdy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's not, but... Once you kind of know what you're getting into with that, it, it's it squirts and zooms. Now, this Bugatti Centro DC Dicey is uh, another one we're going to be putting on the channel here really soon. If you guys don't have a good hypercar you're happy with, get this one if you don't have the Revington or the Egoista yet. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, those are great cars as well, but I've really started to lean into this car and really enjoy it. It is uh, very fast. It's very easy to drive right out of the box. There is going to be some tunes we're going to be doing for it, but bone stock, no tune. This car gets it done. It, it zips. So I saw that shortcut last night. One of my other guys pulled that on stream. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll notate that. That's the first time I've cut through that little catwalk into gas station, but that was definitely the move. Yeah, this Bugatti gets it done. It's very fast, very predictable. If you can kind of cut through there and you can go bushes, bushes, you don't actually slam the wall and slow down. It's I don't see that corner all that often, so it's hard to kind of remember that's coming up, but if you can, it's pretty sturdy. But you guys, I got a different controller on screen. Some people were getting confused thinking I was playing on a PlayStation controller. I'm not. I'm playing on an Xbox uh, scuff controller. And so I wanted you guys to see that. Maybe I'll switch to the white one. Come on, Z4. We must turn, baby. This is another car for Rally Raid that's really good right out of the box. And so, even if you don't have pro settings on it, you're waiting for somebody to give you a tune, just get it and start driving it, and then we'll finalize it and get you kind of locked in that last 10%. But it's already pretty sturdy and doesn't need a lot of extra help. And I think that's... Um, the good cars are like that. There's some cars that are low-key undrivable, and then with a tune, they get really spicy and they get really good. But there's other cars that don't need anything. You just buy them and drive them. And... The Bugatti Central DC Dicey and this Z4 are two of those cars that are very, very strong just right out of the gate. Because that's what the channel's about, right? Like, I'm out here trying to give you guys the best tools in your arsenal so that way you can be fast and make the most of your gameplay experience. And so, if my children were going to be like, Dad, I'm getting into the game, what should I buy? I'd be like, buy this, buy this, buy this. Well, what's the tune? You don't even need a tune. Just drive the car. You'd be cool. And then, you know, we'll get to the tune later or whatever. Got a pretty good lead on these guys. That's nice. 
But... Ooh, spicy! There is a nice line I can cut to the right right there and kind of cut between those trees, but it's a little too spicy sometimes. And it's risk versus reward. Like, what do you gain? Maybe half a second. What do you risk? Five seconds with reset, so... Okay, we'll actually get to see how far ahead we are down here. I'm looking at the mini-map. Then my camera's in the way of, so you guys can't see it. Um, they're just now getting in the first corner of that switchback, so we're about three quarters ahead of them. I do like the livery that is on this car. Anything that says Coordinate Crew has got me just loving it. When I first started racing competitively, IRL, racing motorcycles, I put coordinate racing on all my stuff because I wanted to be official and it was just me. You know, maybe my wife and kids had come out that weekend, but it was just me. Now it's like, we actually have the coordinate crew and we are coordinate racing and it's just really cool to like, see something that was out there turning into fruition. That's my buddy Nicodemus, dude! In there, holding it down in second. He's one of the coordinate crew. I didn't even know he was racing with us. That's awesome. But, okay, um... Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a close race. We'll see who gets, uh... Oh, wow, they're coming up the hill real close. There, he's got Corn Nut Crew on the side of his. R34 right there. Let's go. Um, yeah, pick up the Focus. It's a little slidey. I think the FCRX7 is a little less slidey. But um, they're both really good. So, depending on what your preference is or if you already have one, stay tuned for the FC, but uh, that's the Focus. You guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.